How's it going guys, it's Isaac here bringing you uh, PMC Week 4 Team Builder. This week we're going up against, I actually don't know, I mean I have SL Benefica, the Bain, Benefica or whatever, the, the logo there, but Hera actually, Hera the coach of the of that team, I'm, not even, I'm just going to say SL, Hera the coach of the SL uh, actually dropped after his Week 3 battle, which is unfortunate because we had to find a replacement. We did, we, get, we got Amazing Chi, who uh, I know he's he's been in a few leagues, so... Um, I actually don't have his logo. By the time we battle, I'll probably have his logo, and you can see it on the layout um, after that. But I don't actually know, you know, what his team is yet. So I'm just gonna have his, um, <clears throat> just gonna have his logo there, and uh, you know, hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll work out. But anyway, um, looking at his team, he did he. So I had already prepped for uh, Hera's team, and then he made a few swaps. He originally had Hapaldon, uh, Porygon, Porygon two, and. Uh, he had, he had a Hapalon, Porygon 2, and Miss Magius, but he swapped those. He got rid of all of those and got Raikou, Aerodactyl, and Palo Sand. Palo Swine. Palo Sand. I don't know. How you, however you want to pronounce it. Whatever. Um, but yeah, looking at the team now, it's much more fast, and Scalopede uh, is is still a threat because, um, you know, if, if I bring a Choice Scarfmon or something like that to outspeed his, his, uh, his Raikou or Aerodactyl, stuff like that. You know, I'll still get, um, it's, it's not a guarantee I'll, I'll speed it because, you know, a speed boost, Scalopede is a thing. Um, Scalopede doesn't have the best matchup against my team, granted, but uh, cause a, few th a few things can just wall him. Things like Gliscor, Dusclops, most likely Golbat, you know, Scrafty potential, so, uh, even Porygon too. So, I mean, he could try to Hazard stack maybe, but, eh, you know, we'll get by, so. Uh, and then v Victini is a big threat, um. It's actually a huge threat against my team, because if it brings a proper coverage, it could really put a hurt on my team. Um, he'll probably bring like something like Bolt Strike or Thunder, something for Blastoise. He'll probably bring Glacy, and then maybe like a dual stab. Maybe I'm hoping he doesn't run a special, especially offensive Victini. But if he does, it's all good. I mean, we if he doesn't bring Psychic coverage, then we have an answer to that. It might be mixed though. I'm I'm kind of thinking he'll bring. He might bring like Bolt Strike, um, V Create. U-turn and Glacier because Glacier hits Sceptile and Gliscor. Whether or whether or not he, he probably won't bring a scarf set, um, maybe he will, but I don't know. It's kind of doubtful. So um, anyway, so that's that. Um, he's got Hydreigon, which is really strong. He's got Mega Blastoise, which is a good spinner. Uh, but again, water types are just good, are so hard to bring against me because I have the two things that water's weak to in Electric and Grass. I have a Mega Sceptile, which is so powerful. And a Tabo Coco, which is also so powerful. So it's really hard to, you know, you saw last week how my opponent didn't bring Mega Slowbro. Even though it was good against, you know, Lycanroc, um, Jirachi, uh, Porygon. You know, it was good against most of my team, but it just couldn't come because I had Tabo Coco and Mega Sceptile on my team. Um, so maybe that'll have the same effect with Mega Blastoise this, this week, but who knows. Um, all I know is that this is going to be a pretty tough fight. I know uh, Amazing Chi is a pretty amazing battler. So um, yeah, let's let's get right into the team here. I have Spadef Galbat. Um, haven't brought it yet. Figured you know why not. Um, so you know we got the defog. This thing's great for Mega Blastoise. Um, my Blastoise is good against er, Blastoise is good against itself, but the fact is if he brings Toxic, that's just bad. Like I can Toxic that thing back maybe, but I just don't want to have that. And also I mean he could bring Bolt Strike with Victini. He could switch in a Raikou on this thing just fine. Um, he, if I, if I, he, if he switches in, like, the Palo Sand on this thing, gets the Scald, like, if I hit it with a Scald or something, then it gets the Water Compaction, you know, it's, it's just annoying, so, you know, I, th I think this thing's a good matchup, or, I think this thing is good against the Mega Blastoise, um, we can take an Ice Beam from a, from a Blastoise no matter what, we can take two of them, in fact, Max, Max Special Attack Modest Ice Beam does, like, 41% at most, I think, so that's amazing, and having the defog is really nice in case he wants to hazard stack me, like I said, uh, maybe with like Bronzong or Mega Aerodactyl, and then have like the spikes and T-spikes with the Scalpede. You know, defog is just really reliable, so hopefully that'll uh, come in clutch. And then Toxic, because I'm a poison type, I'll be able to land them 100% of the time. Um, toxic hitting everything except Bronzong. We can't really do much to Bronzong, but you know. It's whatever. If he doesn't bring Bronzong, we can just toxic his team. Because Scalpede 
even if it brings rock slide, it, it doesn't want to take a break. It doesn't want to stay in on a brave bird, right? So, um, you know, that's that's just nice. And the roost just to, just for log longevity. Next up is the in Duskoffs, another EV like core here. Uh, we got Fizz Def and Duskoffs with Will O Wisp, Pain Split, Shadow Punch, and Haze. Uh, Haze is really nice for um, just in case, you know, if. I, again, it's kind of like a four move slot syndrome in a bad way because or obviously it, it's always in a bad way but not how you think it is because i i always get will wisp pain split and then either shadow stink or shadow punch or no i usually get will wisp pain split and then one other move and then i can't think of a third move like there's too many things uh, that that could be good that might you know whatever but i mean you know this thing looks like it has uh, a, a, a good matchup i mean i can switch into victini most of the time uh, unless he's like adamant life orb, I can take two V crates. Uh, he won't want to stay in because I can, you know, pain split. And Haze is just nice because if he tries to pass speed into like a high dragon on this thing, the baton passes, and and I go for Haze. That'll be amazing. Same with Blastoise because Blastoise probably can bring Dark Pulse. Um, you know, it also hits Jirachi, so wouldn't be a bad bring for him. So you know, I, I'm feeling like Mega Blastoise. Even though I do have, like I said, I mean the Mega Sceptile and the Top of Koga, if that thing gets some speed, it could be a bad once my gold that gets wheeled. So, yeah, I mean, he could bring it. Or Sphere hits Porygon too, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, Dusclops just here, basically for a physical wall. Nice for um, Hitmonlee, nice for Aerodactyl, could be nice for Shaman. Uh, could be nice for, um, what is it? Or it's great for... Uh, Bronzong because I can shadow punch that thing. You know I can shadow punch the uh, Palo Sand, Palo Sand. I'll just call it Palo Sand, whatever. And yeah, I mean physical wall, pretty nice. Next up is Tapu Koko, uh, max speed, max special attack with uh, Thunderbolt, Grass Knot. Doesn't even call mind. Um, very similar to the set last week, except um, we're bringing Grass Knot instead of. Uh, I think we had Volt, Volt Switch last time. Uh, Grass Knot, I. I had it there for the Hippodon, but once he made it swaps, I was thinking about changing it, but, I mean, hip I mean, Palo Sand is still a, a potential brink, because both of its stabs hit Jirachi very hard, I mean, again, Hidden Power Race is a p potential, especially if it brings Rindo Berry to uh, take a hit from the Mega Sceptile, h price could be annoying, um, but yeah, I mean, it, the potential of it coming is uh, is enough to want me to bring Grass Knot, a plus one Grass Knot if he's physically defensive, not special defensive. Um, it will, it will Oko, it should Oko, um, yeah, so, um, especially if we get rocks up, but, uh, yeah, and then Calm Mind just in case, uh, max speed, because I want to be able to at least speed tile with Aerodactyl if it wants to go, my, I, I have a feeling it'll go max speed as well, it might try to speed creep me, I was gonna try to speed creep Zapto, or, I was gonna try to speed creep Raikou, but, um, I, I just decided to go max speed just in case, uh, for that Aerodactyl, and, uh, just in case, you know, if, if, I, I don't know. I, I really don't. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just nice. I mean, once we get a Calm Mind up, we have the Z, Dazzling Gleam with the Fairy MZ. So that'd be really nice for the Zapdos, for the Shaman, for the, um, for the, I, I guess that's it, pretty much. Um, in case we need the extra damage on the Aromatisse. Uh, just, I mean, basically just there for the Raikou and the, and the Shaman. Because if he brings, like, an AV Raikou, that could be really annoying for this thing. But there's no way he doesn't bring HP Ice if, he, is, if he's bringing Raikou. And if he brings HP Ice, um, this thing's a pretty good switch into that thing. Um, I don't want this thing to get whittled too quickly in the game. But, you know, it's still it's, it's still nice. Next up is Scruffy. Or Scrafty. Uh, Rocky Helmet with Intimidate, Knockoff, uh, Toxic Sleep Talk, and Rest. This thing's my switch into Victini most of the time. Uh, there's not much Victini can do to me. I don't think he'll bring fire, uh, fighting coverage. Um, this thing can live... I think it was like an adamant life orb v create I, it can live two of those which is amazing uh, we can rest up and then sleep talk I was I was gonna run like drain punch knock off and toxic and then rest but I felt like sleep talk was important because um, once we get the rest up you know if if 15 is still in there hoping that it can you know outstall me or whatever I can I can just sleep talk and then just knock off and if he switches you know it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world. Uh, Rocky Helmet's gonna really help with the whittling of, of different mods. It's great for Scalopede as well if I wanna try to knock off something there. And again, I mean Toxic just hits, like I said, it, it hits Scalopede, um, 
or it hits everything except Bronzong and Scalpede. Bronzong I can stay in on just fine and just keep clicking knockoff. And Scalpede, I mean, I have a, I have Dusclops to switch into that thing. And my next Mon Glass score, so it's it's really fine. I mean, Scruffy's just. Uh, I feel like this is a this is a good matchup going Fizz Def. Also can take a few hits from Policy and probably so knock off that thing would be nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, next up is Scar our Glide score. Uh, now originally we had enough speed to outspeed a max speed scarfed uh, Porygon, Porygon Z. <laughs> got this. We got Porygon two and Porygon Z mixed up. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So just or or in case he baton pass speed from Scalpede into the Porygon two, if it was at plus one, I'd still be able to outspeed it. But since he doesn't have Porygon two anymore, I have enough speed now to outspeed him max speed Aerodactyl. So that's nice. And then we have Stone Edge. We changed, we used to have Aerial Ace, but I realized, you know, I'm not, I probably don't want to switch in on, or stay in on Shaman. Because Shaman would be like the one thing I'd go go for Aerial Ace on. Um, otherwise, you know, I can just Stone Edge the uh, Scalpeed. And I really wanted something for Aerodactyl, so if I'm if I'm trying to out, if I'm EV to outspeed an Aerodactyl, I want to be able to hit the Aerodactyl. So Stone Edge is really nice there. I was thinking about knockoff because that would be nice for like Bronzong and, and Palisand, but I keep saying Palisand even though I'm saying that I'm going to pronounce it Palisand, but whatever. Um, and then Poison Heal just in case I can predict a Toxic. You know, um, if uh, if I know that like, uh, for example, if I know that Bronzong is going, if it, like a Bronzong switches in to, I don't know, what what would it switch in? If it, if it switches into like a, Damn, hold on. If Duskoffs is out and he switches into the... I can't really think of anything. The Aromatisse, I guess. Against Aromatisse, I'd probably switch into Gliscor. Hoping that any... If it's toxic, then we'll get we'll have the Poison Hill, which is awesome. And the Choice Scarf. Which will be great. But uh, Adamant Nature helps me to... Uh, pretty much just uh, hit things pretty pretty damn hard. And uh, Iki, I'm hoping to pr su surprise the Raikou... And the Victini. I'm hoping he doesn't bring Scarf Raikou, because that would shit on my day. Because um, even like a timid HP Ice from Zapdos will Oko me, most likely. So that's whatever. But if he's not Scarf, then we can outspeed that and bop it with an EQ. Same with Victini. Um, and you know, I mean, this thing, hopefully, we're going to be able to put in the work with it. Last but not least, we have Levant, our uh, Lycan Rock. Now, initially, we had Salazzle, but once he picked up the. Um, Aerodactyl and the and the Raikou and the Polisane. I mean, I just figured it's it's not worth it. I had like a Flame Charge plus Nasty Plot set, which could have been nice, but again, uh, it just didn't look like it's it, it was good enough in the matchup. So I'm bringing Lycan Rock Focus Sash. I was I was really wanting to not bring Focus Sash because I, I did a few calcs. I can take a, a Jolly Life Orb Stone Edge from Aerodactyl. I can take like a a modest Life Orb uh, Thunderbolt from the um. From the from the Raikou, you know, I can probably I, I can take a hit. I can take an Adamant Life Orb uh, Zen Headbutt, or I think no, I think it was like a Jolly Banded Zen Headbutt from the Victini, which I, this is the same, probably the same amount, like a Jolly Banded and Adamant Life Orb, almost the same, almost the same amount of damage. But you know, I can take these hits with just a sliver of health. But I I figured if I really I really just want this thing to be able to hit things, this will outspeed a uh, Max Speed Shaman and a Max Speed Modest. Um, or like a, a max speed timid or jolly shaman and then a max speed uh, modest raikou uh, but yeah if i really want to try to sweep with this thing with the sd i have to be able to live a hit from things like shaman and mega blastoise and hydreigon because i'm not going to be able to get a hit from hydreigon and steadfast is really nice because if he tries to go for unburden with a hit hit knee, at least i'll boost my speed and if he doesn't have any speed hoping that he'll outspeed everything after the doubled speed um you know, hopefully we can we can start speeding with the steadfast because if he goes for like a fake out normal gem, uh, it'll flinch me and then I'll get my speed up. So that'll be really nice. If he scarfs, though, he'll speed me, take me out of my sash, and then still plus plus Excel Rock if I'm at plus two should be able to should, should be able to finish him off because um, Hitmon only has like no defense. So uh, yeah, but once we get a um, an SD up, I mean this thing's great for his team. Honestly, um, Excel Rock is great because uh, it's it's great priority. Honestly, Stab Rock priorities. Um, really good because I mean Rock is the most is the best offensive typing in the game so I didn't actually mean to make it that much quieter sorry about that sorry if it was really quiet <laughs> anyway um and uh, yeah I mean the only two resistances to Rock other than Hitmonlee are Bronzong and Palosand and those both get hit by uh, Crunch pretty hard so 
that's nice. Um, I'm hoping we can win this. Hopefully, just the game plan is to maybe get up Scarf for Rocks with my uh, Glyscore and then go from there. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.